Welcome to another episode of the Dante Show Network Story Times, where I tell prison stories, hood stories, and supernatural stories. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. This story takes place in Milwaukee. Imagine you in a crib, right? And your significant other, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, your sneaky link, whatever, right? Tells you, hey, I'm hungry. Can you go to the store and get me a pizza? Supreme pizza at that. And you like, I bet. So you put your socks on, you put your jacket on, and you put your shoes on, and you look over there to the right and you see your wallet. Get your wallet and you put it in your pocket. Matter of fact, you didn't even wash up today, so you have to spray some cologne, right? So then your girl like, who you trying to look good for? What what chick you trying to see at the store? He like, man, ain't nobody, man, whatever, man. You the one sent me to the store. So she like, all right, well, you better hurry up. So he leaves, walks down the street, see a couple of neighborhood guys out there they say yo what's up what up what up all right what up what up hey you you you, you, you want to smoke yes no whatever right he hit the blunt he continued to move on and he and he goes into the store he sees the cash register what up Ock? Uh, what's up none much about to go get me a pizza so he goes to the back and the guy that's back there he's a neighborhood guy that the store owners allowed to work here. He makes the pizzas and he cleans up around the store, right? So he like, yo, um, let me get a Supreme pizza. So he was like, what you want a medium or large? He said, come on, man, stop playing, man. Give me that large. So he said, all right. So dude that just ordered the pizza walked back outside. And he go holler at a couple of guys that's lounging around in front of the store. So when he comes back in, he's like, yo, what up, Ock, what up? Right? The store clerk acknowledged him and dude keep it moving. He goes back to the spot where the pizza is being made at. And he noticed, like, hold up. I don't think dude put on gloves. So he like, yo, did you put on gloves to, to make my Fool, I mean, I see you like dipping in with toppings. I see you making another pizza and you ain't got no gloves on. He's like, no, I, I put gloves on. So he's like, well, why you didn't, why you ain't putting on gloves now? Is that, is that pizza for you? He like, no. Nah. So he like, so you mean to tell me, so how do I not know that you wore gloves or did not wear gloves when you was making my pizza? So he was like, look, bro, do you want this pizza or not? He like, nah, man, make it over. So the store clerk hears this conversation. And he like, what's going on? He like, man, your man ain't wearing gloves and he making pizza, man. And I'm, I'm not paying for this. So the store clerk and the guy is going back and forth. They arguing about this pizza that was allegedly made with no gloves on, right? So... This argument persists back to the front of the store. Now, at this time, homeboy that ordered the pizza that got this confrontation going on about whether dude in the back was wearing gloves or not, he decides to do the unthinkable. He decides to pull out a sword of justice. I'm not talking about the sword of justice where Dante was locked up in prison and pull it out and get the, you know what I mean? Nah, we talking about the sword of justice that you hold like this and things come flying out. So, he get the thumping at my man. Boom, boom, boom. Take his life, right? Then he turns around like this and point back there to the guy that was making the pizza. But for some reason, he don't shoot. Or maybe he do try to pull the trigger, but it doesn't jam. So he puts it back in his waistband and he takes flight that way. 
Now the guys that was in front of the store, they heard this commotion that was going on in the store. So they like, the heck going on? So they take off running in all directions. Then shortly after, homeboy emerged out of the front door and he get to walking back to the apartment. Now, meanwhile, Ock, the store owner, or the store worker at this time, is bleeding out. He's bleeding out. The guy back there that prepared the pizza with his whole altercation unfolded for him back there, he gets on the phone and calls 911. 911 emergency, Milwaukee Police Department, MPD. How can I help you? Hey, this guy just shot the, my boss. Oh, hold on, slow down, slow down. What, what, what's the address? I, I, I'm not sure. It, it's on blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're we going to send an officer. Wait, hurry up, man, because he ain't bring. They're like, check his poses. He, no, he not. It's just a lot of blood, man. Just send somebody now, right? So they like, just stay on the phone, stay on the phone. But well, y'all know this is Milwaukee. Just like Chicago, Flint, Detroit, all of these places that's impoverished, police don't show up until what? 20, 30 minutes later. So the police show up and then the ambulance show up. They secure the scene. They ask the people like, did y'all hear anything? Did y'all see anything? Some of these cats are like, yeah, we know exactly what happened. You see, here's the thing. Sometimes they don't even gotta wait for crime stoppers to put that number out. There's some people that's working in a community that that's their job to report crimes. And well, that's a whole nother story. So the police canvass in the area and they like, yeah, we know who did it. Yeah, it was so-and-so. So they like, where, where he live at? Oh, he stay over there. Give me one quick second, y'all. We about to have a quick commercial break. Hey, did you know that I do promotions now? I promote all social media channels such as Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, I promote it. Also, I promote products and businesses also. So if you need promo, get in contact with me. That's right, y'all. Make sure y'all get y'all promotions. Tap in. So anyway, so the police, they already got the address of this monster that committed this heinous crime. So they coming up the stairs, five deep. They get to the apartment number. They decide to knock on the door. Well, bang on the door, but then they said, nah, uh-uh. We gonna do it a different way. One guy got here, one cop got right there. Three in the back, one in the front. He been practicing for this all year to kick this door in. So the first officer come through like, boom! Knock the hinges off the door, right? Police, police! Milwaukee PD! Milwaukee PD! They didn't have to go too far because the apartment was not that big anyway. You got baby girl sitting over there. You got him at the stove like he just did not do what he did. He over here making ramen noodles. Get down, get down. What's this about? Get down. Put him down on his knees. Grab his arm. Grab that arm. They get the handcuffs and put it on him, right? Man, what's going on? Hey, man, what's going on? You know what you did. Get up. They done hijacked them up. She like, what's going on? The, the, the girl, what's going on? What's going on? What y'all doing to my man? They done march him out. He like, baby, I'll be back, man. This some bull. Baby, I'll be back. This some bull. That ain't no bull. You know what you did. So they marching them down the stairs, right? The whole block out. I'm talking about the whole block is outside. And they're like, yo, what's going on? Hey, what's, what, hey, 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 what's going on? Right? And all he doing is got his head down, saying, there's some bulls, there's some bulls. No, that wasn't no bull. You, you know exactly what you did. Matter of fact, y'all, here's the news clipping. 
Eight, a Milwaukee father is dead after what police say was an argument over pizza. The man killed while working in his family store. It happened Saturday at Action Food and Liquor on MLK and Keefe. Tonight, 12 News' Madison Moore spoke with the victim's brother about the senseless act of rage. Walking through the doors of his corner store on MLK and Keefe will never be the same for Muhammad Owais. He's back at work after someone shot and killed his brother a young father. I told my brother, please, I need help like for an hour, hour and a half. He told me I got you. The store owner says during that time, Charles Leggett ordered a pizza. My brother served him and gave him the ticket. He went to the dude back there to make him the pizza. He gave him the ticket. I think the dude, he, did, he didn't wear gloves or something. Do you remember if you were wearing gloves um, or not? I was wearing gloves, I'm pretty sure. The employee who made the pizza is afraid to be identified. He went back to the front and he got the argument with the cashier in the front. And they had some words yelling at each other. And then I just hear a pile. If I was a betting man, I bet my last dollar that homeboy did not put on gloves. And you see, that's one of the things I always tell y'all. When you doing work or doing your job, do your job right. Because by him not putting on them gloves, that just led to another man losing his life, right? But ne nevertheless, I'm not excusing what dude did that, you know, pulled out the hammer and took this man's life over some pizza. Let me ask y'all a question real quick, real quick. We're going to do a poll right quick. Do y'all think homeboy was wearing gloves? Let me know in the comment section. Prosecutors say store surveillance video shows an argument at the counter and then the gunman abruptly, quote, puts the gun to a Weiss's chest, killing 26 year old Jamil a Weiss. You shot him here in his heart and he died like soon I came to the store. They told me sorry for your loss, you know. A Palestinian immigrant, a Weiss came to the U.S. in 2013 leaving behind a wife and infant daughter. You know, it's a big loss. He's a good guy. He's like my son. Like, when he came, he was a little, a little boy, you know. He grew up by me. That's why this, this thing has hurt me too much. Legend is now being held on a $200,000 cash bond here at the Milwaukee County Jail. If convicted, he faces up to 75 years in prison. Reporting in Milwaukee, Madison Moore, WISN 12 News. Legit is a convicted felon who should not have had a gun. He's charged with first degree reckless homicide. This man left behind a wife and a newborn baby and families that's going to be mourning for him. Let's imagine you is overseas. His family is overseas. And you get the news. In the wee hours of the morning, you know that car that everybody dread to get your son, your nephew didn't make it. What happened? Some idiot took his life over a pizza. This man will never be able to watch his child grow. Won't be able to take his child on the first day of kindergarten because this demon, this Milwaukee demon decided to do the unthinkable. I used to be, well, I'm, I'm still am pro-gun. I'd rather get caught with it than without it. We don't got to go into details. But when maniacs like this dude get a hold of a piece of steel, he feel like he's just the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Looking at homeboy demeanor, he ain't going to make it. He ain't going to make it. He going to go through it. He look weak, timid, and you ain't got that blammer to get them dudes up off you. I know some of you demons in the comment session going to be like, Yo, Dante, why you going so hard on the brother? He only took out a Palestinian. You foul. You foul. You see, what you don't know about Dante, I'm for all humans. See, I, I go under that old law, that old code, what you call the Bible. 
that all of humanity, we are all brothers and sisters, even when we don't act like it. And don't act like Cain didn't kill Abel. And what I mean when I say that is just because we got the same color skin, that don't mean we brothers. And always remember that Cain killed Abel. But nevertheless, we can change as a human race to start treating each other better. But under these living conditions and situations that dudes like this get themselves into, you don't need a gun. You, you, what was going on in your life where you just couldn't be diplomatic about it? Why you just couldn't use your words instead of just pulling out and banging out? Just couldn't use your words, huh? But that's okay. You're going to use your words in prison. When homeboy got you grabbing your knees and you talk about, oh, I can't take no more. Oh, you're going to take this. Hit the like button. Share this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Hey. Did you know that I do promotions now? I promote all social media channels such as Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, I promote it. Also, I promote products and businesses also. So if you need promo, get in contact with me. All right, y'all, it's the fall season. Make sure y'all cop y'all military mind game merchandise. I got hoodies for you. I got shirts for you. I even got coffee mugs for you. Y'all see that hat? Y'all see that pillow? Make sure y'all cop your military mind game merchandise. I have the link pinned at the top of the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click this video. Until next time.